Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel and today you guys we are going to be making southern style stewed chicken one of my favorite classic old school recipes okay so look grab your ingredients subscribe to my channel if you aren't and let's get started okay guys so we are going to start off with our chicken first and I have two pounds of chicken thighs all of them are skinless half of them are boneless and half of them have the bone in you can use any variation of chicken that you want. I prefer to use chicken thighs, okay? So, I'm gonna add in a tablespoon of olive oil. I'm also gonna add in a tablespoon of onion powder plus one teaspoon of garlic. We don't want too much garlic in this recipe, unless you want. A heaping tablespoon of seasoned salt. You guys, if you don't have seasoned salt, you can use regular salt or some other salt-based seasoning, like Cajun seasoning, okay? I'm adding in one teaspoon of black pepper. I have my, my cracked pepper here. And I'm gonna add in a half teaspoon of some dried thyme to give it some natural, nice, herb, earthy flavor. You got me? All right, so we're gonna mix that to combine. If you wanna use your hands, you can. Um, Y'all been real funny about food getting under my nails and, and raw meat and stuff. So I'm just gonna use the fork. It's all good in the neighborhood, okay? So once you get that mixed up to your liking, go ahead and set that aside. And now we're gonna get a heavy bottom pot over medium heat. You guys, if you've been following me, you should have a Dutch oven by now, okay? They're very inexpensive. Costco, Walmart, Target, all that, okay? But anyway, we're over medium heat. You guys, don't turn this up too high because it will burn. And we're gonna add in a fourth cup of vegetable oil or canola oil. And we're basically gonna fry up this chicken just to give it some texture. You can use olive oil, but you wanna be careful so that it doesn't burn, okay? You might wanna use something like avocado oil if you don't have the vegetable and canola. But look, we're gonna sear it just to give it some color and just to cook it through a little bit. You guys, we're not trying to cook the chicken all the way through, okay? We're not frying chicken today. This is a stewed chicken, so we have to sear it just a little bit. And I'm doing this in batches, y'all, because all of my chicken can't fit in the same pot at the same time. So add your second batch in. You can see those are the ones that don't have the bone in them. And um, just cook those up, all right? Now, after you get your second batch in, they should cook around the same amount of time. Go ahead and take them out. Y'all see that little burnt edge right there, y'all? Lord Jesus, forgive me. Y'all, so I was trying to boil rice, and I turned the wrong eye up too high and burnt my dog on pot. And I almost thought I was going to have to throw this out, but I didn't. I saved it. It's all good in the neighborhood, okay? It did not burn. It did not have a burnt taste. But please be careful with, with your heat, okay? But look, we're adding in a tablespoon of butter. I have some onions going. I have some bell peppers going. I have one stalk of celery. And um, you guys, I put all that stuff in my food processor because I just did not feel like chopping anything today. So if you have a food processor, you can throw everything in there and process it up and it's done in a matter of 30 seconds. Boom, simple, okay? So I'm just sauteing those up, just giving them a little bit of color. I have to move really quickly because my pot is on fire. I had the wrong eye on, y'all. Please forgive me, okay? Like I said, it didn't burn, but it almost did, and I was going to be mad as all get out if it did, okay? I'm adding in a tablespoon of cornstarch. The cornstarch is going to thicken our gravy or our sauce that we're going to be stewing this chicken in, okay? So go ahead and add that in. Give it a good mix. And y'all, we are ready to add in our liquid. So I'm adding in four cups of low sodium chicken broth. All right, if you wanna add in just a little bit to deglaze the bottom of the pan first, you can. I actually skip that by mistake. However, we added in the chicken broth, one reason, because that's what we're gonna stew our chicken in. And two, the second reason, you need to deglaze this pan a little bit. Get all those bits off the bottom of your pot. Just scrape it gently and I promise you it will come up, okay? So once you do that, we're gonna add the chicken back into the pot, all right? The chicken should be submerged into the liquid. It's okay if it's just hanging out just a little bit at the top, but you wanna try to make sure they're under so they can cook, y'all, cause you know, we don't wanna serve nobody no raw chicken, okay? And I'm adding in two tablespoons of heavy cream. The only reason I'm doing this is because I had those burnt bits and it made my, um, my broth a little bit darker, so I wanted to brighten it up. But if you wanna add in heavy cream to give it a more creaminess, to it, you can do that, okay? I'm throwing in some black pepper to taste, and I'm also gonna season up my sauce with some complete seasoning. You guys, we talked about this in my meatloaf video, which y'all should check out. 
Just add in a teaspoon or you can add it in to taste. All right, that's the Badia Complete Seasoning. It's very good. And I'm also gonna add in one bay leaf for some natural earthiness, you know. You know, give it a little flavor, a little razzle dazzle, okay. And we're just gonna mix that up. Make sure our chicken is buried in that sauce, okay. And I'm gonna also add in just a half cup of water just to get this going, okay? Because over time, this sauce is going to reduce. It's going to reduce and it's gonna thicken into a gravy, okay? So we're gonna cook it covered for 20 minutes and then we're gonna uncover it and cook it for an additional 20 to 30 minutes, all right? And you wanna make sure you stir it occasionally so that it does not burn, okay? And after you do that, this is what you should have. Look at that, you see that ring around the pot? The ring is because all of that liquid, that water has reduced out, it's cooked out, and now you're left with a nice, rich, thick gravy. Look at that, honey, right there, y'all. This ain't nothing to play with right here. That's it, y'all. That's all that's to it. So now all we have to do is plate it up. And there you have it guys, our delicious homemade Southern style stewed chicken. Look at that, honey, that right there ain't nothing to play with. Do you hear me? The chicken is falling off the bone. The flavor is amazing and out of this world. Look at that bone, look at that bone. It's just gone, you see that? Look, tender, juicy, and flavorful this recipe is. And I'm telling you, your family will absolutely love it. So fulfilling and perfect for a cold winter or fall night, okay? So look, as always, I wanna thank you guys for watching. Thank you for tuning into my channel. And if you try out this recipe, let me know down in the comments and I'll see y'all next time in the next video. Bye!